but cycling has grown over the years well it, there was a dip there was a dip uh, some years ago when it had no cycling at all in 2010 no 2005 um, when I came in at that point I came in as a general secretary and we started back having um, events because there was none for the 2003 2004 there was no cycling happening and we built this sport um, at that time and we started growing and, and becoming um, we started seeing more clubs coming back out and stuff I came out um, in 2000 and probably I would say in 2008 2009 I was not in um, in the in the executive I came back in 2010 when I um, was appointed recent secretary before becoming president at that time and then we the, again we started to grow we started to build again in 2014 by then we had the um, national Velo the new cycling velodrome in Coover and I, I think at that point we were already excelling because we would have had already just seen 2012 Olympics he would have already um, excelled um, having gone through all the different championships and winning all the medals we had a, a, a period of medal winning in that period 2012 10 11 12 around there and came out 2016 we hosted the elite the junior Pan Am championships here we were able to host that international event here under well the then president um, Robert Faria um, 2017 we held the elite Pan Am championships here so there were two major championships held in Trinidad and then um, we started to see a little downtime again although all that time we still had cyclists really performing so the, the, the over the period of 20 I would say from 2010 come up we have been continuously growing and um, doing well especially the juniors we had a lot of medals coming in from the junior Pan Ams um, Caribbean Junior Road Championships Elite Road Championships we would have medaled at that point we would have been able to, to attend CSC games at road and track so we, we had some ex excellent performances over the years and um, I think it just maintained what has been the impact of having that National Cycle Centre in Balmain? Uh, it has impacted um, positively because um, we would have seen that with the National Coach here, those guys were able to stay in Trinidad and really do their training and, and perform excel excellently outside. Um, unfortunately, with the departure of the National Coach in 20, uh, 20, 2020, um, the guys stepped out and went out um, but I think we have the ability to use the facility and um, really get the advantages of having top cyclists in this in this region so what what is the plan the plan here right now is to have the cycling velodrome um, certified as a satellite center with the UCI that is the plan right now it's actually in train we have already put in the application the ministry is already on board they all are on board to have this done and we just in continued discussions with the international body and hopefully within i would say by mid next year we should be on board having the satellite center